dear family and friends. Thank you for this wonderful honor on my 40th anniversary of Thank Life Castle. Awesome. Right I started working at Nyack when the cafeteria was where the infusion center is. <laughs> and the doctor's entrance was the entrance to the emergency room. They have come a long way. Forty years ago, I established my practice in Nyack because it was the most progressive hospital in the Hudson Valley. Now, after merger with the Montefiore Health System, we have a stronger foundation to maintain the bench. Good work, progressive work, in a hospital setting is always a team effort. Our success in providing the best OBGYN care would be impossible without the integration of my medical staff. Dr. Demosin, Dr. Quayle, and Dr. Tuchel. This Karen Bergstein outstanding midwifery. And the entire midwife team is With the help of our dedicated staff, we do good work at our offices and the prenatal center, which is complemented with the expertise and professionalism of our nurses and other staff at the NIAC Maternity. Thank you all, and please keep this speech in mind during the negotiations. <laughs> <laughs> Obstetrics is a wonderful field. I would like to recognize the Toon family. I delivered Mrs. Toon, and recently I had the pleasure to bring Donovan into the world, her son. When she was born, her father told me that I delivered him as well. <laughs> so thank you for coming. <laughs> for me, these stories make obstetrics a reward. To be at a place like Nyack Hospital, for so long is a good feeling. Walking into the operating room and knowing that no matter what I find, I will have seen it before, it's very satisfying. <laughs> you all know that I love to be in the operating room and with our expert anesthesiologist team, or our staff, we can provide excellent medicine advice. The difficulty of having such long-standing relationship is eventually dealing with their absence. This year was especially challenging, as we lost great doctors. Dr. Earl Gallagher, Mark's dad, who founded our modern radiology department that always provided me with excellent guidance when I was a young attending with my partner and we just came to Nyack Hospital. And Dr. Nabil Sayaj from the urology department, who was one of my best friends and cherished colleague. Many of us ask, what are my plans for the future? Is retirement in my vocabulary? Well, the first person I would consult is my dear colleague, Larry. As you can see from this example, I plan to around for a while. That said, I do miss spending more time with my grandchildren, Sam, Max, Lily, Rose, and Lil Ann. Don't worry, kids. I will ski with you in February. <laughs> my dear colleagues, I will leave you all with some thought and maybe some wisdom from what I've experienced over the decades. Evidence-based medicine, algorithm-based protocols, electronically driven health records are all important parts of modern medicine. 
These technologies and practices are designed to unify care, to provide safer environments and treatments for our patients. However, I believe that they have an unintended consequences of industrializing and dehumanizing medicine and decreasing and often eliminating doctor-patient interaction that is absolutely essential to good medicine. I believe we can have interaction as well as safety and efficiency, but we all have to work very hard to maintain thoughtful common sense, balance, and always abide by our Hippocratic law. Again, I'm very honored to be here tonight, and thank you very much for the